Canadian soldiers who served in Afghanistan will be celebrated in Ottawa tomorrow. It's being called a National Day of Honour, an occasion created by the federal government to pay tribute to the fallen and the wounded. While no one denies our troops deserve recognition, the event itself is being dismissed by some critics who say the government doesn't do nearly enough to respect our forces. Mike Lucatura reports. Hours before the National Day of Honour, soldiers are making sure the event comes together with military precision. But critics contend the planning has been less than perfect, calling it a partisan publicity stunt. Yeah, I think it's all about politics. You know? Retired Colonel Pat Stogren served in Afghanistan and as the veterans' ombudsman. And while he agrees with the honour, he worries pomp and circumstance is taking the place of funds and services. Take this gesture uh, in the context of them uh, eliminating eight district offices within Veteran Affairs and the level of callousness that Minister Fantino has displayed towards the veterans. And the man organizing the event brushes off the criticism. There will always be naysayers, we know that, um, but I think that there are a lot that are behind this event and I think it'll be a very, uh, very good day. One highlight of the ceremony is expected to be the handing over of the last Canadian flag that flew at the base in Afghanistan. This week, soldiers ran it from CFB Trenton to Ottawa. The plan was to hand it to the Prime Minister and not the Governor General, who is Canada's Commander-in-Chief. But after hearing criticism, organizers changed the program, allowing David Johnston to accept the flag instead. It's a positive day. Uh, Canadians uh, generally uh, have embraced all of this. Those that don't, that's unfortunate. But it's even from best, though, sir. Now, veterans do appreciate the celebration of the sacrifice, but some worry it's just a bunch of lip service. What happens on May 10th, when all the bleachers and flags are put away? What do we do then to continue the care for the families and all of those that have served, not just this generation of veterans, but all veterans? Those who served in Afghanistan hope the day will give Canadians a moment of pause to think about the sacrifices made and to encourage the government to live up to its promises. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.